Hi, and welcome to Reed's Audio Reading. I'm Reed, and I hope you enjoy my channel. Today I'll be introducing you to a forgotten god from the dwarven pantheon, Dumathoin. You can find this information in Dragon Magazine 58. Dumathoin, Keeper of Secrets Under the Mountain, Greater God. Dumathoin is said to hide the secrets of the earth until they are ready to be uncovered by the diligent and the deserving. He is the protector of the mountain dwarves, the keeper of all metals. He lays veins of iron, copper, gold, silver, and mithril where he feels they will do the most benefit to his followers when found. Dumathoin has never been known to speak, instead keeping his wisdom to himself though he may send subtle clues to keen observers on the nature of the world. When Moradin named him protector of the mountain dwarves, Dumathoin created a paradise for the mountain dwarves to enjoy. He was angered at first when the dwarves started to destroy the mountains he had provided for them, but his anger turned to pleasure when he saw the finely crafted metal items the dwarves produced from the ore they had mined. His enemies are those, dwarven or otherwise, who plunder the earth's riches and take them away for unfair or selfish purposes. He does not object to tunneling, mining, or the keeping of treasures underground, however. Miners see him as their patron and often carry a small diamond or gemstone in their pocket, ten gold piece value, to attract the favor of the god. Dumathoin appears to be a gigantic dwarven figure with hair and beard of grey stone earth-brown skin and eyes of silver fire. He owns a great plus five two-handed mattock of solidified magma. He may summon three to eighteen earth elementals, sixteen hit dice each, at will instantly. They will fight for him to the death. Dumathoin may also use all metal, earth or stone related magic user spells at thirtieth level of ability, but cannot use any other magic user spells. Unlike most other dwarven deities, Dumathoin maintains friendly relations with non-dwarven deities, though only a few. Among his close allies is Hephaestus, whom he supplies with adamantine ores, and Grom, the lord of the earth elementals, who supplies him with elementals at a moment's notice. Other gods of metalcraft and the earth sometimes do business with Dumathoin and his representatives, for metals and ores as well. For these reasons, clerics of this god are sometimes involved in business ventures in the selling of metals and similar materials. Thank you for listening to this video of the forgotten god Dumathoin, keeper of secrets under the mountain. I hope you enjoyed and have a great day. Best regards, read.